everyone, my name is Thomas Harvey Kalunovic and welcome to the next video in my series of doing a project with the Autodesk AEC collections. Um, up to this point we've been playing with Plant 3D and Revit and touching on Advanced Steel as well. Um, and now we're going to start playing around with, with the dirt on our project. So we're going to use Infoworks to start off with. We'll eventually take that into Civil 3D and then I'll even show you some of the new features of bringing Civil 3D into Revit. There's a couple ways of, of doing a, a new project in Infoworks. You can uh, just create a new blank model uh, and plug in your extents, your, um, your coordinate systems and the design standards, or you can use the model builder which comes with Infoworks. It's not an extra purchase or it doesn't use any other cloud credits. Um, you can just click on that and basically bring in anywhere in the world up to 200 square kilometers. Um, the data comes from OpenStreetMap, so the roads and the buildings come from OpenStreetMap. The imagery comes from Bing, uh, and the elevation data are, are uh, USGS 10 meter DEMs. Um, and again, if you're you're doing a uh, this kind of project or or sort of concept, rather than sketching on a piece of paper and a, and a pen, you could do this with uh, Infoworks, and then obviously reuse the data over and over again. So. For this exercise, uh, we're going to place our plant somewhere here around Kubipedi. Uh, so I can just come in here and, and pick sort of this, this window here. If I wanted to, to pick a smaller window, I can just click and drag the rectangle there. I can do even a polygon. Or I can just go the, the screen that it sees. And then plus as well on top of that, I give it a name and then I stick it in one of my BIM 360 folders here. I've obviously already done that. You can see that it's created that new tile here under my Infoworks project. So I haven't downloaded it yet. So what it's going to do is uh, download the file locally first. So once you click on the tile, it grabs the model from the cloud. And then what it does, it downloads it locally to uh, your own PC on, on the C drive. And then it just lives on, on the C drive. And then you, you'll end up syncing uh, any of the changes that you do from your desktop back up to the cloud. Uh, while it's downloading, I'll just put in a, a little bit of an apology. I am coming down from the flu, so uh, I am back at work, but uh, if you can tell in the video, I still have a little bit of a sore throat and blocked nose, so we'll press on through. So while it's downloading, again, you can see the, the, the tiles, tiles here. The uh, Infoworks, if you do have a BIM 360, um, subscription. Uh, my personal opinion, it's always handy to to have your models up in the cloud. So again, if you are working from the office on a Monday, and, and in my example, if you got sick on the Tuesday and you felt like maybe doing a little bit of work from home, uh, then again, um, you could uh, do comments or markups uh, in the cloud, maybe to remind yourself when you get back to work, or if you are lucky enough to have um, your laptop with you at home, you can just log on to Infoworks and then again pick up um, from where you left off with that model previously. So we still got a bit of time there and I'll just let that download. So here you can see it's finally finished downloading and tiling itself. So here we've got Kubipedi the airstrip, some of the roads, and you can see looks like some buildings have come through from open street maps. And if I hover over the building, you can see it says view the source feature on open street map. If the roads have names, so you can see here, this is Hutchinson Street. It looks like there's a bit of a, a lake or a reservoir out there, possibly. Uh, looks like a couple other buildings here in uh, could of pity as well. So this is how we're going to start our, our project. So let's say for argument's sake, I'm going to place my plant project um, just on the edge of town along the old highway here. So this is listed as the old Stewart Highway. So what I'm going to do is just come in here and work out where I want to place uh, my land area. So I'm just going to cover it with field grass. 
it looks like we've got just under 10,000 square meters there, so just under one hectare. And then I do want to lift it up a little bit, so I'm going to lift it up two meters off where it's been placed. Now it doesn't look like it's done much there, but if I set up some grading, so I've got some grading styles here of three to one cut and fill, and then you can see there that now we've got pretty much all of that land area being as fill. And then just to show off quickly, uh, I'm going to stick, um, let's put a rock road. So there's going to be a rock road coming off our old Stewart Highway, and then I'm just going to tee that off. And that way it gives our cars or trucks somewhere to drive onto our site. So this is just a quick little teaser for Ifworks. Um, in the coming weeks, I will go through importing other data sources and, and file types in here, any of the model properties, some of the style rules, some of the sort of more conceptual uh, tools in here, but also once we get into the more details of uh, the component roads, the bridges, the water and watershed analysis, uh, and even creating storyboards from our project uh, in the coming weeks. And we should end up with a really good looking visual model of our project in its alleged real world location. Thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me any comments below uh, and I will catch you in the next week or two. Thanks.